Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo high score run of the Hollow Layer. We're doing it on the Night Stalker, we're doing it on the Hunter, so obviously we'll be using Orpheus Rigs to get my super back. I'm using Bygones, Oxygen, which is the Vanguard Pinnacle weapon, and Thunderlord. Now, on my armor, I have Machine Gun Scavenger on the arms and Machine Gun uh, Reserves on the helmet. Uh, we're using Thunderlord, obviously, because it's it's arc weak, so it's in honor of that. I've got a power handicap of 160, which gives us a score multiplier of 3.7 using heavyweight, momentum, match game, and void singe. And as you can see, you might have seen at the start of the video there, they've made a couple of little kind of quality of life changes to the card. <clears throat> you can now raise, raise the modifier quicker and take it off quicker and stuff. Just little cool additions that will help from going from high score nightfalls to sometimes if you want to farm you're just going and do a normal nightfall so i haven't done the hollowed layer high score since well forever so with it being arc week i figured that the thunder lord would it, it'll work pretty good in in all the nightfalls but i figured this one was more suited to it so i've run void singe because you do face a fair bit of void up until the end but at the boss, you kind of, I don't know, solar weapons didn't seem right during arc week. So, But because we've got match game on, there are solar shields, so we have got the oxygen. Which will be the first time I've really given it any use. Because I, I it feels kind of like the Mananum with the, 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 way, the frame. Obviously, it doesn't, have the, it doesn't have the explosive rounds. But, yeah, it's, it's wholly uninspiring. So, what we're doing here, you don't really have to kill these enemies, but what I'm trying to do is just build up a little bit of super energy before we get to the, 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 fir the first room with the first plate. So, I want a little bit more super energy, uh, just so that I've got my tether for tethering all the adds. So, as you can see, we're just trying to kill these guys. Uh, I... Get, come and get this heavy ammo, get get the, the orbs, and then we're good. So when you get to this first room, you can kind of stay here, take out the ads on the left first. Uh, they'll, they'll be the ones that will come into view first. So we'll just try and get the explosion going. And as you can see, it it, it is okay. It's not, it's not, I wouldn't say it's a bad scout rifle. Uh, it's just, I don't know. If, you've, if, if you're going to call something Pinnacle, it should be Pinnacle. I'm going to leave that heavy ammo there so I know I've got a brick waiting for me because I've still got 220 odds. Take out these snipers and then that is you. We're just going to wait to, wait a little bit, go and see if we've got any orbs lying about. And we don't because <clears throat> we never got a double kill with a masterwork weapon. <clears throat> And once we feel once once we feel like we're gonna get what tether, then we'll jump up. So what we're kind of gonna kind of do is tether at the start of the stairs because the ads will push the stairs. That tethers them all. There's a solar shielded captain, uh, scorn kind of captain that, that that appears at the back. That's why we've that's why we're using the oxygen. So we'll tether there, and we'll just use these two kind of things left and right as cover. And the tether should take care of most of the ads. Break the shield. Just breaking the shield is enough to kill any ads that are tethered. Then we'll make it up these stairs. There's a there'll be a an elite sniper on both sides. We want to take both of them. As you can see, it's really quick quick to clear that room. Now we'll go and pick this up. Go and pick this uh, heavy ammo up, and we'll just make sure that we got all the snipers. Because there's normally two snipers that hide away at the back. But if you tether well enough, you'll capture them. So what we do is make sure you're fully reloaded. Take the leg down. As soon as you take the leg down, push into the bubble. Throw a grenade. And then don't reload. Just fire the rest and then reload. But when you reload, make sure you're just at the edge of this bubble. As you can see, I'm trying to stay as far away as I can. Because it's not the first time the explosion from the, the spider tank has killed me. Another thing you can do, just it's a bit of a waste of time, but as you, you'll see something's going to happen here. Uh, 
you you can actually uh, wait there, take out some ads, because as you can see, I was I was on top of it, I knew straight away. It does this sometimes. The game won't recognize you've cleared an area, and you've got to just go back here. That will close up, and then you're good. It ha it's happened quite a few times to me. If you get to this part here and there's no ads, just run back and, and it will spawn them in. And as you can see, just try and... Um, what I'm trying to do is build up a bit of heavy. That's what I'm looking for. Always looking for that additional bit of heavy. Now, you are going to need a considerable amount of Thunderlord when we get into this room just behind that, that shielded area. Because the ogre is... Well, he, he, he doesn't really like dying. So, when we get in here, the first things you're going to be looking for, because it's void, because we've got void burn on, you're going to be looking for the snipers. So, the snipers that sit at the back, as soon as you get them, as soon as you see them, take them down. Because they can do a lot of, a lot of damage to you. And now there is one that, that spawns from behind that solar captain. That's the one we're looking for, because normally I engage on the left hand side, and then he'll come out and does a lot of damage to me. So we're looking for these snipers. There's one there. And there he is. Always comes out when you engage. We'll just use what arc. Take him down. We've got a solar scorn captain on the right. But we'll just, we're just going to try and clear all the ads first. And luckily, the explosion from, from the, the, the scout rifle, the oxygen... The explosion took his shield down, which meant I could just melt him with the Thunderlord. So we're just making sure there's no heavy ammo lying about. And now we'll start with the first plate. Now, it doesn't really matter which order you do the plates in. What what you do have to remember is when you come onto the plate, you'll have kind of two sides that, that are cover. Make sure you don't put yourself in a position where you can be easily shot at. You know, they're bunching up, the ads are bunching up a bit. So you just want to make sure you're, you can get back into cover pretty quickly. As you can see, I'm at it. So you can dodge reload in cover. The ads won't, the, what the ads will do is they'll fire at the last place they've seen you. Once you've activated the plate, just go back in between the, because the, the, when you do the first plate, what you'll get is you'll get another wave of ads with two more captains. Now, I could have tethered. I should have tethered, really. But for the purposes of just making sure I stay alive and making sure that we're not in any jeopardy. Because to tether, you kind of have to do it really quickly, which means the problem with tethering is it's the animation. It takes, it takes, it doesn't take ages. But it's, if you've got a couple of enemies shooting at you, you, you will take your fair bit of damage. So it's kind of it's kind of not worth it. It's kind of not worth it. If we were speed running this, then yeah, maybe I would have. But I don't really speed running is not my thing. I like to do things quickly, but speed running it is it is it's a it's a skill. I've got a good friend Shablo ninety one. You should check his videos. He's a very good speed runner. Uh, we've spoke about this many times. Uh, speed running it, it, it's its own skill and it's its own reward to be fair but I kind of don't do the speed running thing I like to just show people how to get through stuff that that kind of that's where I get my enjoyment so we're pretty cool we've got a brick of heavy out we've come onto the second plate same thing again we'll try we've grenaded where we know ads are going to come from and I've noticed I have got some heavy ammo so luckily I've got shots on a lot of enemies there, which meant I could finish them all really quickly. It's just cool. And we know we've got one over here. And that's all the enemies down. What we're going to have now is this ogre. This ogre he just doesn't like to die. So what we're going to try and do, because we're going to get a wave of ads left and right coming with them. We're waiting for them to come. I'm just going to put a tether right there and try and capture as many as possible. And I threw my grenade right past them. And now you've got to be careful because his attack is strong. But if you consistently hit him with a Thunderlord. Now Thunderlord did get that buff. 
that nerf, sorry. Buff? I don't think so. It did get that nerf, that 20% damage, but I was wondering if it would count against him because he technically isn't a boss. He's technically a mini boss. So we're going to use this. This is going to be our base of operations. Is is he right here? We're going to put a tether on him. We know we've got an arc shielded captain now, and we'll take him down. Dodge reload, just so he doesn't get a chance to escape. And now we're just going to. We know we've got heavy ammo. I've seen about three or four, two or three bricks. Put a grenade on them. Now we're back up to full complement, and we've still got extra heavy ammo. You're going to get another captain, another scorn captain. He's void. We didn't allow for void shields, so if we can get a grenade on him, so be it. You've got to be careful for those uh, ex those solar. You have to be careful because they, they come in at weird times. It's kind of hard to it's hard to preempt them type of thing. Too far away to Thunderlord. I just wanted to see how, how much damage you could still do from range, but take out you'll always get a couple of adds at that side so you just have to be aware take out the adds on the other side and all that's left is that void captain and the ogre and the ogre will go down reasonably well he has a bit of a bullet sponge which is why you need to make sure you drop enough heavy ammo so we know we've got another brick somewhere there we go and there's a brick up top. So we'll smoke him. Now what we're going to do. We've got full heavy ammo. What we're going to do. Is we're going to take the shortcut. We're not going to try and run past all these enemies. We're going to take this shortcut right across here. And then. That will bring us out. That there's kind of. The the fanatic's going to spawn here. But it doesn't really do anything. But there's going to be a heap of enemies. That are going to spawn at the top of these stairs. What we're going to try and do is run past them all. And it kind of gets their, gets their attention. And then we'll tether. And because they're tethered, we're going to get our tether back. And we'll just kill as many of them as we can. Because as you can see, we're getting, we're getting a little bit of points here. Getting, and that's what it's all about. A little bit of pointage. And now because not, as, soon, as soon as they stop appearing, don't waste any more time. Just go. So we're 87,000, just about 12 minutes. This is where the real strategy comes in as the boss. So you have to, the things you've got to watch out for is the boss is going to, when he marks you, when he does that, he's going to crouch down. He's going to kind of go almost almost like he's got a, a, a layer of void over his arcness. He'll be trying. He'll be putting uh, an arc circle, an arc damage field, like the one he spawned into. He'll be putting one of them on top of you, so you have to be aware. So what I'm trying, you can see the whole thing, the whole room kind of goes hazy. That's when he's doing his arc attack. But as you can see, I don't know if you can see from there what I'm trying to do. Yeah, better, better dodge. I went right through the arc, but that's because I knew I was going to survive because of the momentum. What you've got to do. Is when you when you attack him, you're almost trying to keep his weapon in cover from you. So you, it's not him you want to hide from; it's his weapon. So as you can see, we're not going to attack from there. We're going to just dodge a look because we knew he was going to go. I knew he was going to go uh, immune there. So we'll take these ads. But as you can see, it's his weapon I want to keep staying cover from, and that allows me to attack him, not easily. But pretty straightforward. I'm almost head glitching his, his his staff. And I must admit, in any strike anywhere, this is probably the most gratifying part of any strike, is the in-between damage sections that you do here. We'll just wait for him to appear. Because there are so many enemies. And they all just want to get tethered. <laughs> it's so gratifying. Just to see them all appear now, you'll see turn them, turn them appear, put a grenade. It won't grab every single ad here, but it's it's pretty close. It is pretty close, but the next time, some might come. Why 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 wouldn't he die? I thought I'd already killed him. Some of them will come from the side, 
as you, you can just see in the edge there, but I was I just wanted to get this guy killed. Get my health back by doing a little bit of runnage. And once you kill, you get two waves, two waves of ads, then the boss comes back. So we're just going to collect a little bit of heavy. We've got tons of heavy there. And as you can see, when he comes in, he puts that arc field down. So what we want, as you can see, we're moving. We're trying to keep his weapon in cover. This is the second strategy. So the first strategy is to keep his weapon in cover. The second one is you need to be aware of when to do damage and when, when to look out for adds. So as you can see, we we'll dodge reload, but we're going up to the adds now. And we're going to try and clear as many of these adds as we can before he takes us up into the air. Because if you don't, you're a sitting, you, you are, you're, you're a target. You're an easy target when you're up in the air, so you have to clear at least one side of those ads. So we'll just clear this little bit here. We know we've got heavy, as you can see, he's putting his arc field of damage down. Clear, clear a bit of these enemies, and we're going to get, when he goes away this time, we're going to get three waves of ads. So he's still here. I don't think it's much it'll take for him to go. Nope. Put his arc field down. We'll just keep moving. Remember, you've got momentum on, so you want to keep moving. Now, I go from side to side, and I try and use as much cover as I can to, as I say, keep his arc staff covered. It's not him you need to worry about. It's it's You need to make sure his weapon doesn't doesn't get line of sight on you. And now we're going to get... So, so within this, you're definitely going to get an ogre. So I went up here to get heavy, and I've just tethered right on top of myself. Got my heavy, put a grenade down, and then just... I know I've got a lot of a lot of heavy line up there. So we'll get a couple of explosive crits there just to clear them. Get another tether out. Another grenade. That's so weird that when you hit them with, with the grenade, they all fly up in the air. And you just have to be aware of ads encroaching you. We've got Wasupper back. There is going to be another wave because you get three waves of ads here. And we'll put another tether down. This time you're going to get an ogre. Another grenade. And with the ogre, don't don't worry about your tether with the ogre. Just just kill, kill the ogre with your heavy. And we're just going to wipe up, wipe up the last couple of ads here. We know we've got a heap of heavy, which is good. There's heavy drop for us there. Now the boss is going to come back, so we're going to move. When he comes in, he's always going to try and put that arc field down on top of you. So if if you, the kind of thing you want to try and do here is you want to try and be in a position you're not going to attack from. And he'll put the arc heavy down in a place that is not really going to affect you. Now, as you can see, we'll take his shield down and then we're not we're not interested in him. We have to make sure we clear some of these ads. This is very important. So after the first wave, after the second wave, the three waves of ads, which is the second time he goes away, you have to make sure you take down as many of the ads before you attack him again. Because if you don't, you're an easy target for them when you're up in the air. Okay? So make sure that you clear as many ads as possible before you attack him. And be aware that, as you can see, the the the, the speed and the amount of the, the, the arc damage fields that he's putting on top of you increases because we're getting close to the end. So we've pretty much took them all. We'll just put some on them. This wave here, I'm going to tether. And by tethering them, what it does is it stops them from attacking me when I'm in the air. So what I'm going to do is, straight away, I'm not going to engage the boss because there's going to be a heap of ads want to come over. We want to clear them. We don't want to have too many other things to worry about. You just want to be able to focus on the boss. So at this point, what you should be looking for at this point is clearing the ads. We'll put a little bit more on him. Is making sure that there's no ads and watching out for his damage fields whilst keep moving from side to side. 
So we'll dodge reload because we're going to have to go past a wave of ads. We don't really want to have to go past these ads shooting us like that. But we made it to the other side. We're in decent cover. We'll just finish the boss. So making sure that you keep moving. Don't make yourself an easy target. Uh, remember, after the second time he goes away, when you get the third wave of ads, make sure you take out ads. When, when he goes immune, make sure you take out as many of the ads as you can before you engage on him so that you're not being shot at when he makes you immune. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, always appre appreciate your viewership. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about Arc Week. Do you think it's almost as big of a letdown as I do? <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to check me out on Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next video.